Okay, this video is in support of the 1200 <clears throat> processing project. Uh, it's recorded fall 23. Okay, so I'm looking at my little script here. The first thing we need to do is to um, install uh, processing. So it's pretty easy to do. Just go to processing. It's already on my thing. Well, you know, this site. And then we're going to download. And then there's all these platforms supported. Of course, I'm going to download um, 4.3 from Windows. And so we'll look here. And um, I'm not going to wait for this to finish. I've already downloaded it earlier. So, um, oops. And processing 4.3. Okay, so it's going to uh, open up a zip file. So one thing I want to point out is um, everyone who, um, um, well, I want to point out that you should install 7-Zip. So 7-Zip, as you can see, is a utility for maintaining and manipulating zip archive files. And it's really handy and it's very good. And you're going to need to be able to create zip archives for your projects, to submit your projects, to unpack your projects. I realize that Windows has zip capabilities built in, but they're pretty weak. And I would definitely uh, install process uh, 7-zip um, on your PC. So anyway, here is, um, you know, the Processing came in as a zip file, and I just open it, as I did twice now. Get rid of that one. And there's a folder in it. So to install processing, you need to uh, open up your, um, need to put it, you know, copy it someplace. So I'm just going to copy it into my C, C colon drive in my root directory, and it's just that easy. Okay, so here's processing 4.3, just like from the zip archive. All right, the first thing we want to try is go into that folder and click on processing. And if this doesn't open up, um, you've got a problem. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is at this point. We can talk about it, but um, this has to happen, uh, opening up this editing tool has to happen. Otherwise, there's no point. All right. So um, before I go any further, I'm going to install this on my desktop. So I'm just going to right click on processing exe and uh, pin it to my taskbar. And so there it shows up on my taskbar. And yeah, we just click on that and it opens. Next thing we need to do is install two libraries, and which is pretty easy to do. Uh, we just go to Tools or, or Sketch. So under the Sketch menu, Import Libraries, Manage Libraries, and then we have two. Uh, the first one is a Sound Library, so type Sound. And then we're looking for that one right there, Sound from the Processing Foundation. So we'll hit Install. And there you go, the little icon updates and processing sound is installed. And then the other one is uh, sprites, S P R I T E. So that one right there, sprites for, um, and install that. And the little icon shows up. And so both of those, um, you now there's tons of libraries, tons of, tons of cool tools that come with this, but there's the two we need, the sound and sprites. Okay, so now we're done with that. And now we move on to the next step. Okay, in the second step, we're going to um, install a test program that you'll find at eLearning. And the point of this test program is to uh, verify that you have installed processing correctly and the libraries correctly. Um, if you can't get this program to work as uh, described, then you have an issue with your PC or 
somehow you've installed it correct incorrectly and we need to look at that all right so first of all we need to uh, we remember we have processing installed from the begin uh, first step so we're going to need a browser and get over to e-learning and log in and and every section should have a link now on uh, in their home page and we'll click on that and so here are all the documents in support of the project that we'll go over uh, in class then here is this game library check that uh, we're going to work with now and then here is the actual asteroids game that will be uh, you're, you'll be working with so first of all we want to download this game library check so um, we're going to um, download it in the meantime we'll get a box I guess so. I don't know why it's making me log in. Anyway, there you are. Okay, so game library check. And again, it's another zip archive with a processing, you know, with a with a folder containing the processing program, and we need to copy it onto our PC. So I'm going to um, just put it somewhere where it won't make any trouble for me so under temp and then I'll create a folder here um, just processing or something <clears throat> copy that in there and then we're done with that okay now uh, I'm going to show you how um, I'm going to do something uh, and that is to associate these a PDE file, files that end with PDE, which is processing extension, with the processing uh, executable. So that way I can just double click on the PDE file and it will automatically open a processing for me. Um, this is specific to Windows. I'm not sure how it works on Mac. but So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say open with and and then doesn't have an option so choose another app and then uh, click on always and then more apps and then get to the bottom because I don't think processing will show up so look for another app on this PC which brings up a browser in program files and then I'll scooch down to find processing Oh, no, it's up one level. It's on C colon. Uh, processing 4.3, you know, where I installed it. And I'll just click, uh, double click on the executable, processing exe, not the other one. And it'll open. And now every time I click on a PDE file, it opens processing. Much easier than having to manually do it. So this is a processing um, program. And it's going to just um, demonstrate a few features, make sure a few features are working. So if you run it, if everything is working, you can bring up this uh, screen and you click on that. And then you can use the left and right arrows. Yeah, there you go. You have, to, you have to click on the screen, the left and right arrows. So if you click, if you're hitting use, if you're using the left and right arrows and it's not moving, make sure you physically click on the black area, and that's working. And then if you hit the space bar, it plays a, a popping sound. So that means that the keyboard's working correctly, that the sprites library is working correctly because we can see the ship, and that the all the ships backwards. <laughs> just notice this upside down. The ship sprite is upside down we'll fix that and then when you press the space bar we know the sound library is working so everything is great and we can close all that up and that's about it that's all we need that for just to make sure it's working that your processing installation is set up correctly all right new section okay in the third step we're going to now notice I'm still on the e-learning folder but now I want to download asteroids plus zip file 
and um, should have downloaded it. And it's downloading, and it's done. So you know you could drag if drag this into your. I don't want to drag it there. You could drag this into your on your desktop. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And then it's a zip archive. We're done with this. It's a zip archive, just like before. We're going to click on it to open it. 7-Zip opens up. It has a folder uh, with the program in it. So we'll drag it into that uh, same directory I was working with earlier, or folder. And now it's installed, so we're done with that. And then we open it up, and we click on any of the files, really. Um, click on Asteroids Plus. And there it opened up... Um, the tool just like we hoped it would and then to run the game we hit run and then there's a start button and then we use the left and right arrows to spin the ship and we use the up arrow to apply thrust and that's a power up and this is really not a this video is not in support of and we have a power, now we have a shield, which makes our ship invulnerable to striking asteroids. And then we launch missiles with the space bar. Use the space bar to launch missiles. And like I say, I don't want to extend this video unnecessarily. Clear one level. Second level. Yeah. And it kind of has a physics thing going, so. so I guess I guess I am gonna clear this level. And that's how the end game ends. Okay, so that's, if you're getting all that done, if you've gotten to the point where the game is running on your PC, congratulations. And we will go over in class how, you know, what the goal of the project is. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in class.